bringing old ships to life. Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back to another video. Now in the video of today, we shall talk about the famous TSS Carlshot Tender. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, the Red Funnel Line were the first owners of the vessel, which was constructed by John I. Forncroft and Company. So let's quickly cover some of her specifics. Her gross tonnage was 684 gross tons, with a length of 147 feet 0 inches with her beam being 33 feet 1 inch. She could carry 566 passengers on board. Now the power of this vessel would come from triple expansion steam engines and she would have had twin screw propellers. The vessel would be launched on 4 November 1929 and would be delivered in 1930 to the Red Funnel Line. Now she was employed in tendering services to the various liners that called at either the Solent or Southampton waters, thus eliminating the need for docking when only a few passengers were embarking or disembarking. Now the Kelshot would tender to some famous ships. For example, the Green Queen, the RMS Coronia, the Cunard Queens, the RMS Queen Elizabeth and the RMS Queen Mary, the SS United States and the famous White Star Liner, the RMS Olympic. Now, when the World War II had began in 1942, the Kell shot was taken over by the Admiralty and assigned to the River Clyde, where she served as a tender to the two Cunard Queens, the HMT Queen Elizabeth and the HMT Queen Mary. During her time on the Clyde, she helped to transport an estimated one and a half million servicemen. In 1944, she returned to Southampton to assist with the build-up to D-Day. After the war, she was returned to the Red Funnel Line. In 1964, the Red Funnel Line sold the Kelshot to a subsidiary of the Holland America Line and moved her to Galway Bay, Ireland. Here, her triple expansion steam engines were replaced with a diesel engine and she was renamed Galway Bay in honor of her new era of service. There she was used as a tender for the famous Dutch liners the Maasdam and Rheindam. In 1986 the Kelshot was bought back by her original port of registry, Southampton City Council, with the intention of making her the centerpiece of a maritime museum in Ocean Village. After her purchase, she would move around a bit. On 5 April 2011, Kelshot was moved by tugboat from berth 50 to berth 42. While berthed in Southampton, Kelshot was maintained by the Tug Tender Kelshot Trust. Now the intention was to display her as a part of the Aeronautica Museum in Trafalgar Dock, Southampton, which was anticipated to open in 2015. But sadly, this was not to be. In 2012, the Associated British Ports ABP, withdrew the Trafalgar Dock location for the museum, citing the need to relocate Red Funnel ferry operations. Without a long-term berth, the trust was unable 
to develop a sustainable business plan as requested for a heritage lottery grant application. In January 2017, the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency declared the vessel unseaworthy. By October 2018, the ABP informed the owners that the ship must vacate her berth by June 2019, though they later extended the deadline while negotiations continued. The owners requested to move the ship to dry land, as the deteriorating condition of the ship meant it could not remain in the water. But ABP informed them that this was not a option. In 2019, the Kelshot Trust proposed two ambitious plans to move the historic vessel from the water to dry land. The first plan proposed towing the vessel to Mayflower Park, filling it with dredging material and turning it into a landlocked exhibit. Unfortunately, the proposal never had the financial backing necessary to make it a reality. Now, as a result, the vessel was offered for a sale at a low price. In response, an intent to destruct notice was filed with the National Historic Fleet. The Trust then proposed converting the vessel to a land-based Titanic tribute ship at the Royal Pier. Now just imagine how incredible it would have been to be able to learn and experience all of the fascinating history surrounding this historic vessel. In December 2020, Kelshot's owners completely reorganized their board of directors in order to take a fresh approach to securing the vessel's future. Unfortunately, the ABP gave notice that it would begin to charge considerable birthing fees, which the trust would be unable to pay. This put Kelshot at a risk of being scrapped. In response to this, the trust began negotiations with a private company in February 2021, which had its own dry dock and berth in Southampton. On 27 February 2021, the ownership of the historic tuck tender Kelshot was formally transferred to Woodshack Limited, with plans to undertake a three-year restoration program, which will conform to modern operating standards, whilst maintaining her unique qualities. On 25 May, Kelshot was towed from Southampton Dock to a new berth on the River Itchen. Despite an extensive inspection and evaluation, the restoration project was sadly halted due to the extensive deterioration of the ship, resulting in a total rebuild being required. Unfortunately, the rebuild was deemed to be unviable, and as a result, the Kelshot was ultimately scrapped during the summer of 2022. Now at the end it's quite sad how this famous tender again just surrounded with history, tendering passengers to the Queen Mary, the Queen Elizabeth and even the sister ship of the ill-fated Titanic, the RMS Olympic. How she came to her end is quite tragic. And that is the end of a video, my friends. Did you guys enjoy it? I certainly loved making this one. Uh, the scrapping of the Kelshot was quite recent. Um, the summer of last year. And 
the end of the story of this ship is quite tragic. All those um, projects, plans for projects, but at the end sadly failing. It's quite sad. So I hope that I did uh, the ship the ship some justice in this video and again i hope you all enjoy it i quickly want to take a moment to thank all my new subscribers who have subscribed thank you all very much and a thank you to all my subscribers for watching my content watching my content uh, every video it means so much to me that so many of you guys actually like it and enjoy it so thank you all very much um, if you have uh, friends who like ships or ocean liners, please show them my channel. That, uh, that would help out a lot. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please leave them in the description down below. I uh, absolutely love reading your guys' comments and I reply to each and every one of them. So again, if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the description down below. With that out of the way, friends, I wish you all a good night or evening. Wherever you are, stay safe and stay happy. And we will, we will see each other in the next video. Goodbye, my friends. Follow old shipping lines on social media. Thanks for watching.